Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-747, also known as Children and Dolls. Interesting title. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number SCP-747. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-747 are to be contained in a room exactly 30 meters by 10 meters, with walls consisting of a concrete 15 centimeters thick. All instances of SCP-747 are to be contained together in the same room. In the occurrence, SCP-747 shows interest in any personnel, procedure, or SCP-747-B9 must be performed immediately. Under no circumstances shall any unusual actions of SCP-747 go unreported to personnel level 3 or higher. SCP-747 is allowed a total of 25 dolls, excluding any created and under SCP-747's influence. Any personnel that have begun to show visible signs of SCP-747's influence are to be contained separately in similar conditions. Should a containment breach occur, Task Force 747-B8 is to be alerted and proceed with recapture immediately. Only under extreme circumstances are any personnel with clearance level 3 or higher to have any direct contact with SCP-747. Description SCP-747 is a phenomenon involving the appearance of children of, in any manner of animal masks. All instances of SCP-747 have been successfully identified as deceased children of appearance congruent with the time of death, excluding the masks. The commonality of the children, according to research, is that they all own a doll precious to them at their time of death. Currently in containment, there are seven instances of SCP-747. SCP-747-01 is a male approximately seven years of age wearing a zebra mask and a set of blue pajamas. SCP-747-02 is a male approximately 12 years of age wearing a mouse mask and, and swimming trunks. SCP-747-03 is a female approximately 10 years of age wearing a pig mask and an outfit typical of a private school. SCP-747-04 is a male approximately 14 years of age wearing a rabbit mask and a winter coat. SCP-747-05 is a female approximately 12 years of age wearing a giraffe mask and a striped Sorry, I don't know what that is. SCP-74706 is a female approximately 5 years of age, wearing a goat mask and a bright pink dress as typical of a beauty pageant. Oh, those are awful. SCP-74707 is a male approximately 9 years of age, wearing a cat mask and a blue overalls. SCP-74707 was recovered with a note. Blue crayon written in neat cursive contains a story involving a mother looking for a son in an unspecified afterlife. It is notable that the mother of the Indy holding the note had died in childbirth. Investigations ensued source are ongoing, which has been separately stored. Each instance of SCP-747 cannot speak, nor do they seem uh, to be aware of humans unless taking particular interest in specific individuals. Mainly, SCP-747 shows interest in handmade dolls and each other. It is unknown if SCP-747 has sentience, though they appear to be aware of their surroundings and will avoid walking into obstacles. SCP-747 is able to move through obstacles no thicker than 10 centimeters with ease. 
SCP-747 is also semi-corporeal. Instances are able to lift and touch objects, but only for short periods of time before they tire. SCP-747 has the ability to transform humans into dolls over the e e course of approximately 21 days. To do this, instances of SCP-747 surround a human and hold hands before walking around the a human for a period of five to seven seconds. Afterwards, SCP-747 disperses and continues normal behavior. It is unknown which humans they choose to transform or why. SCP-747 occasionally shows interest in a person before attempting to transform them. The person is able to interrupt the process by moving away or avoiding SCP-747. However, most people describe a feeling of thoughtlessness or blankness when in contact with SCP-747, thereby making the interruption difficult. After interaction with SCP-747, there are no immediate symptoms. There is currently no cure or treatment for the conversion process. Within 15 minutes, the target will experience numbness at the tips of extremities, similar to that caused by cold. Afterwards, over a period of approximately 21 days, the uh, symptoms will progressively worsen. The process will accelerate under stress or panic to a of 10 days. The conversion has divided roughly into three stages, beginning from initial influence to transformation into a doll. If at any point a doll made from SCP-747's influence is destroyed, SCP-747 will begin to show greater interest in humans until another human is targeted for replacement. Stage of transformation in detail. I had to click to ooh, open this and make this go oh, on. Stage 1. Loss of minor senses. The target human loses the senses of smell, hearing, and taste over a period of approximately seven days. Their mental state appears stable. Subject X may display work without condition. Any signs of uh, mental instability at this stage are signs of an accelerated transformation. SCP-747 will ignore the person as if they were normal. The target's skin color and eye color will progressively change in appearance to that of what they will, will become as a doll. Any personnel that shows symptoms must be contained according to the containment procedures listed until late stage 2, in which the personnel are moved to SCP-747's containment chamber. Stage 2 Loss of major senses. Subject begins to lose the final two senses over a period of approximately 13 days. Their mental state will begin to destabilize due to a lot loss of the major senses. First touch and then sight. This degeneration of senses is gradual and victims haven't found initiating self-harm attempts to feel something. SCP-747 will begin showing interest in the person from nosing their interest into their containment to actively attempting to follow and interact with the subject. Should subject attempt suicide or die in this stage, SCP-747 will immediately seek replacement with any human. Once the, hu once the targeted human loses all their senses, SCP-747 will immediately show great interest with the body. The skin will become ragged, similar to textile in both texture and appearance, and the subject's eyes will begin to harden into buttons. Dissections have revealed that during this process, the victim's organs will begin to convert into stuffing of various materials, including but not limited to cotton and polyester. Through the use of EEG, as we know that the target is still conscious throughout this process, Stage 3, full old transformation. Subject fully transforms into a doll within 24 hours. 
At this point, SCP-747 will treat them as any other doll. This it is currently theorized that the subject is no longer conscious or alive in any sense. That has been crossed out. See document 747b4. Dolls produced is through SCP-747's influence either be kept in SCP. 747's containment room and removed only for examination or repair. Well, that was SCP-747. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!